professionally, it's, a, it's an open resource for business information. Um, and personally, with the, especially with the introduction of overdrive, my long drives for business, it, it fills the hours with knowledge and, and humor and insights into things you'd never consider. Aunt Dorothy worked at the library until her retirement in 1975. She worked in the catalog department. She owned the Dewey Decimal System. She also gave me my love of reading and my love of books. This book here, Kidnapped, was her gift to me. It was the first book I ever read. Aside from her family, her love was the library. Uh, I have five grandchildren. I have Brett, Cody, Colleen Riley, and Brendan. And several years ago, when Brett was in the sixth grade, he asked, Grandpa, could you come to my school, Oakdale Elementary, and speak to our class about reading? So I brought Kidnapped as a prop, and I said to the assembled students, how would you like to take a voyage on a pirate ship on the high seas and never have to leave the classroom? And I had them spellbound for the 10 minute time that I was allotted. That's the power of the printed word. And then beyond that, um, my grandchildren, my granddaughters, Colleen and Riley, said to me once, Grandpa, we have a surprise for you, Wednesday night, but you have to be at our house at 5.15. Little children don't realize what a burden punctuality is to an Irishman, but I was there on time. We had a wonderful supper on a cold winter evening, and at six o'clock they were ready for the surprise. I got in the car with my son, the girls in the back, and we drove. As we drew closer to the surprise, they said, Grandpa, close your eyes. So I did. When I felt the car stop, I opened my eyes, and we were in front of the Sycamore branch of the public library. A light rain had begun to fall, so I said, Ryan, you take the girls inside and I'll park the car. The lot was full. I eventually found a spot. And when I got to the entrance of the library, the girls were giddy with delight. Colleen took my left hand, Riley took my right. We walked to the children's reading room. My son had saved the wide leather chair. I sat down, Colleen sat on my left, Riley Quinn sat on my right. They gave me a book they had selected and they said, Grandpa, would you read to us? And that was the continuation of the time-honored tradition of a grandfather reading to his grandchildren. Between my grandchildren and my aunt, I can't think of a more valuable resource for Hamilton County and Cincinnati than the public library. I value the years I've spent with this foundation. And if you'd like to help with a tax-deductible donation to the Library Foundation, it would be welcome. Thank you so much.